Hello, this is Mr. Good. We're doing the equilibrium lab of iron plus thiocyanate and makes a red solution. So we're going to use the colorimeter to find the color of these solutions. So if you'll come over here. Okay, first of all, I have the wavelength set at 470, and that's in the blue region because we're measuring a red solution, so we want a different color. Okay, so right now I've got the absorbance. It is going to be standardized, so I'm going to press calibrate because I have a water solution in there and it should read close to zero. I'll have to let this warm up, there it goes. So when we make the standard solution, it's gonna be really dark because we shift it right really hard on Le Chatelier. So it's gonna read about one or two on the absorbance scale, two point something. This is just a practice solution. I didn't make the exact solution. We'll make that solution tomorrow in class. So that absorbance is gonna be whatever molarity we calculate. And I'll have the data for that later. So then each test tube, we're gonna add different varying amounts of uh, equal amounts of iron and additional amounts of uh, SCN. So it's gonna be less than two point whatever. And we'll use Beer's law to say that absorbance and concentration are proportional. So this absorbance is 0.281. Each test tube will have a darker solution because we have more SCN and it's gonna to shift to the right and that absorbance value will go up and we'll calculate the shift in equilibrium from a rice table for each test tube and then calculate X based on the molarity of the dark red solution. Okay, we'll have data tomorrow. Today in the, equi okay, today in the equilibrium lab, we are making four test tubes of our uh, equilibrium solution. And when we have the four test tubes, this is the fifth test tube, which is the standard where we shifted totally to the right. So we should have a, a bunch of test tubes where it starts uh, dilute and then goes to more in a darker solution. And we're gonna read them with the absorbance and we'll have that those test tubes and the data shortly. Okay, we're measuring test tube three. We've done the primary in test tube five and test tube four. So this absorbance is It's moving 0 0.454, 0 0.454 absorbance. And we'll get that data later. Okay, here are our test tubes. Test tube one, two, three, four, and then the standard at the end. It, it appears to me, maybe on video you can see, it appears to be darker. We're gonna measure with the colorimeter in a moment to get quantitatively using Beer's law, what's the concentration? Okay, we've taken all our data and I'll have that data on a, a picture for this video later. But test tube one, two, three, four, and then the primary, it's darker. I think this absorbance was like 0.9 something, wasn't it? Yes. And four was how much? 0 0.557. 0 0.557 and then? 0 0.4. 0.4. This one was 0 0.337 and the next one would have been 0.1 something, but uh, you'll see when we do this data, you're like, wow, okay, four is plenty.